Hello fellow devil hunters, this is a fucking devil may cry walkthrough and it's going to be a 100% walkthrough, meaning that I'm going to fucking get all the secrets, all of the upgrades, all the items, everything. Right, uh, oh, and I'm also going to get all S ranks for every mission. Right, I'm going to go with normal Dante. The legendary Dark Knight and Super Dante are kind of special, so... I'm going to show these off in another video after the walkthrough is over. And fucking difficulty, I'm going to go with the hardest one because I'm a real man, a true devil hunter. Now the fucking, the cutscenes are a little bit messed up on my PCSX2, as you can hear the sound. You do not want to fucking sit through the, through an entire cutscene like that, trust me. So I'm going to be skipping pretty much all the cutscenes that, that that fucking happens with. Anyway, we are now in the fucking gameplay. We have a fucking sword. We also have guns. Well, let's fucking keep going. What's that? Yellow orb. This is basically like lives. So if you die, uh, you can use the yellow orb to resurrect from the checkpoint and to try again. But if you fucking run out of yellow orbs, then you will have to restart the entire mission. Ooh, there was a bit of a lag right there. <laughs> right, blue orb fragment. This is basically a heart piece. So if you get uh, four blue orb fragments, then you get one full blue orb, meaning that you get a permanent extension to your health bar, which is very good. Now look at that fucking huge castle. Very creepy. Very ominous. That's my phone going off. Oh Jesus Christ, let me uh, mute that. There we go. Right, Curse of the Bloody Puppets. Break the evil spell and open the cursed door. Mission 1. And of course, the fucking castle itself is alive and evil. It trapped us. Ah, well. Let's fucking explore around this creepy castle. Another blue orb. Blue orb fragment, I mean. What is this? Ah, yeah, tch, fucking camera. Oh my god. There we go. Right, red orb. So this is basically the, the currency system in this game. Used to unlock new skills and doors. Thankfully it's not too common to encounter a fucking locked door that requires red orbs. But this is one of them. It requires you to spend 45 red orbs to open that door. But most of the time, you just use it for, like, upgrades and stuff. Right here, there is another door, but it's not sealed. It's just locked with a rusty key. We need a rusty key. Now, in this room, there are exactly 45 red orbs. I don't want to fucking go around and just run around and jump around and collect 45 red orbs. So, instead, there is a shortcut to this. A secret. Very good one, too. Oops. Fuck me. Here we go. If you jump to some weird places, sometimes the game rewards you for that. And you get 100 orbs as opposed to fucking 45. So it's a shortcut and it's, you also get more out of it. So it's very good. Alright. Another blue orb fragment. Destroy these fucking armors. A heavy iron lattice gate is lowered. It appears that this iron lattice gate will have to be raised in order to get out of this castle. So the lid, uh, this is the fucking the, the exit from the castle. But you'll have to fucking uh, raise that gate before you can get out. More fucking objects that we can destruct. Wait, destructible objects, that's what I meant. 
I cannot fucking talk when I'm recording myself. Has that happened to anyone? And there are some fucking crumbled things in the fucking stairway. So I can't fucking go. There is a fucking puppet that resembles the residents of this castle. Very, very fucking creepy. And there is a fucking hole there. I'll fucking uh, just destroy these and then go back up there. Not back up there, go up there. Yeah, get that. Here we go. There is another puppet. And it's holding something. A rusty key. Nice. Now we can actually go back to that fucking blue door and open that blue door with the fucking rusty key. Except it's not so easy. <laughs> Very creepy puppets. But I'm actually gonna fucking uh, run away. Because fighting in that area is very very bad. The game is not designed well enough to fucking do that. So I'm not going to take any chances. Anyway, Blue Orb Fragment, this is the fourth one, meaning now you have a fucking four Blue Orb. We have a little bit of an extension to our health bar. Amazing. There are three openings to insert something, but we don't have anything. There is also a fucking ladder, but the lid is closed and I can't go through. So, let's go back. Now, this guy is... So, you saw up there, we had like red guys up there. Those are kind of, kind of normal enemies. But, this guy is special. The brownish black one. This guy, you usually don't actually meet until mission 9. But, the higher difficulties actually throw in some harder enemies earlier on in the game. And right now, we don't actually really have a good way of fighting this guy. Besides just spam the fucking one combo over and over. Which I know is not very fun to watch. In fact, this whole fucking mission one is really not fucking designed for Dante must die mode and a fresh character. Sadly. But, uh, hopefully mission two will be more fun to watch. Mission 1, you'll have to fucking bear with me on this one. And uh, I'm just fucking killing these guys to get some red orbs out of them. If you kill enemies, you get red orbs out of them. Classic game stuff. Kill one more. There we go. Now we can run away because those guys, well it's not infinite spawning, but they do spawn so fucking much, it's not worth the time. Right, well now we have the fucking rusty key, so let's use it. Another creepy room, this whole fucking castle is just full of creepy rooms. What I really like about this is that nothing is monstrous. It's just the music and the aesthetic and the, the architecture itself that somehow makes it creepy. Or well, and the lighting. Another blue wood fragment. A lot of them in this mission. Now what is this? This emblem responds to my powers. Basically, you beat it up. And this is a switch. In this case, you get taken down to the fucking basement. Right, now you can notice there is a fucking timer right there. It's basically an indicator for the amount, amount of time you have left before the enemies start the devil trigger. Devil Trigger is something that enemies only do on Dante must die mode, but it's pretty fucking brutal. I wanna fucking kill you too. There we go. Maybe kill you too if I can. Ah, fuck it. Right. 
What do I have here? Right. One guy with a gun and one, two guys with fucking curb knives. My god. I did not do that. What the hell? I was holding down Drexy. Ah oh, well. At least I didn't take any damage, so no complaints. Yeah, these guys are really fucking brutal. As in, you can't really uh, melee them anymore, as you can see. They, um, they don't really get stunned anymore. So you have to really keep your distance and um, make sure you don't fucking uh, try to get any, like, try to get aggressive or anything. Alright. Get those rules. Just two of them left. But these guys are bloody Marys, which means they have so much fucking health. Bloody Marys are these red guys. As you as you saw, these guys actually have the fucking power or the ability to like block your attacks. The other colours did not. Those guys are called marionettes. These guys are bloody Marys. There you are. I was fucking wondering where you were. Well, I'm very sorry this is getting extremely fucking boring to watch. Uh, I can promise you it's going to be way more exciting after Mission 2. Or in Mission 2 and afterwards. Oh yes. <laughs> now a green orb is basically a health refill. Thankfully I didn't take any damage in this run. But the game tries to fucking make sure you do have some health. And these guys are fucking still here. Right, I'm gonna fucking get out of there because these guys will devil trigger very fucking quickly. Now, for some reason, being up here makes you stay safe. They can't hit you. And you also so somehow prevent them from fucking devil triggering. I don't know why. But trust me, it is impossible to fight five bloody Marys at once. The game is not designed to make it possible for you. I'm not just whining about it, because it, it's not difficult. It, the, the game is legitimately not designed that way. So just fucking stand here and make sure you fucking shoot them. Because as soon as you jump down, like, these guys will fucking devil trigger and it won't be a good time. So make sure you fucking get here before they fucking devil trigger. Right, get back here. Fuck me. Come on, cunt. Oh, there is another one there too. He's casually walking along. Come on, mate. There you are. Oh my god. Right, I'm hitting it. There we go. That one last one. There we go. And then now this guy fucking wakes up too. Don't fucking let this guy devil trigger. There we go. Whew. And there you go. Defeated 17 puppets and that's how you fucking unlock that door. Let's see. S rank. Perfect. <laughs> Alright.
So, uh, yeah, I'm very sorry this video was very boring to watch. It definitely has a terrible fucking start. But after Mission 2 and so on, it, it's going to be very good. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay away from dicks. Don't take any wooden nickels. All that good shit. See you later, guys.